So welcome back, friends, to the shop. I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving 2018. It's uh, Friday, Black Friday. Black Friday today, and we are in the wood shop, and what a perfect day for it. So I have a very fun project for you, and a very, well, it's just, everything's gonna be amazing today. So what I thought, thought I might do is, um, I'm gonna show you the drawings. I've drawn everything out to scale, what we're gonna build today. Um, and I want to see if you guys can guess what it is. It'll probably take us two videos to finish it up, um, two or three, uh, probably two, uh, but uh, I'll reveal it in the next video. But uh, be curious to see if you guys uh, can figure it out. So let's take a look at the drawings and then um, talk about this beautiful piece of hickory. Here's a look at my scale scratchings. Uh, we're gonna be building two pieces, four pieces total, uh, but the two pieces here, these will be the same. This is the top view, this is the side view, um, another side right there and some of the details so we're two inches thick so this little bit right here this is something I've never done before we're going to be doing some leather inlay today uh, I hope I'm gonna try to I don't know how to how it'll turn out but we'll do our best and you can see the pri pri side profile there we've got this notch in there that's two inches by half inch and then we also have a one by one dowel hardwood oak right there that you can see let in to this piece so We'll see who's really smart. Whoever guesses this first, if you even do, I will send you a prize. How about we make this video interactive and you guys get to choose which leather we're going to use. Now remember, we're going to be, just so you understand, we're going to be letting in a piece of leather recessed into this but sticking up proud. Why? Why would I do that is the question. So we're going to need a beautiful piece of leather. Uh, so we have some things right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick out three of these and you guys can choose which one we should go with, and that's the one we'll do with. Whoever gets the most votes, we'll do a little, um, we'll do a little poll. I think we'll go down between these ones here. Okay, so this one right here, uh, this is actually a piece of leather from my granddad's old rifle scabbard from the 50s. I, I saved a few pieces. It was rotting and deteriorating, and this is one of them that I saved. So we have this. Um, it's black. It's probably about, uh, about an eighth inch thick or so just about what we need. And we only need a piece that's about two, two by nine, two inches by nine inches. So we don't need two of those, we don't need those. So this would be number one. Number two is this gorgeous. This looks like English saddle leather. Uh, maybe same thickness, but kind of has that traditional um, kind of baseball mitt glove type of color. That'll be number two. That's a beautiful piece right there, isn't, isn't it? And this is really stunning here. It's almost a red and it has a texture that's, it feels kind of, like a almost velvety. It's very, very nice. And again, it's about the same thickness. Um, and this will be number three. So these will be our three swatches here that uh, you choose from. So go there and um, number one, number two, and number three, pick which one you want. Whoever gets the most votes, uh, that's the one that we'll use. Have a look at that. Is that not a beautiful piece of wood? We have here, and I, I don't know, if I can't tell, I, I thought it was oak for a minute, but now I think it's hickory. It's hardwood. I don't know. Once we start planing it, I think I'll find out. I, I, I'm not really good with my hardwoods, but this is a full two inches thick and clear. Not a knot in it. I mean, it's absolutely, absolutely gorgeous by eight and three quarters. So we can get everything that we need out of this. So here are the two hardwood billets that I ripped at the table saw. So these are 11 by four. And these are cut half inch by two or so. I went ahead and just roughed those out with the table saw just to speed things along a little bit. So there's a couple things we need to do. We need to let it do the, all of the, the carving, the detail for the leather or, or the, what would you call that? A rabbit? Would it be a mortise? I don't know. Uh, but in, in the meantime, we will do the, uh, the dowels. The dowels are gonna be, have to, we'll have to make those on the lathe uh, and they're exactly seven eighths, which are the holes on my workbench. And that is going to clunk, snap in there like that um, and, co and correspond with those holes. We need to drill four holes in the billet. Uh, so what we're going to do here uh, is use a, a tool that I've never used before. This was a, a gift given to me by a friend. Uh, it is a um, Stanley, it's, a, it's an old one, a 49, it's a bit gauge. 
I've had it in the original box here, and this is the first time I'm going to use it. So I just clamped it on here to kind of demonstrate. So we want to make these holes, they need to be very precise, and we want them to be half an inch deep. And it's hard sometimes to, to gauge that. Some folks put a piece of tape around it, but how they did it back in the day was this, this clever, clever little gauge. And it's uh, designed to kind of spin onto the bit and it'll fit any size from, you know, your little ones to your big ones. Um, and it gives you uh, a stop. It tells you when, uh, when, you know, when to stop drilling. Uh, and these little flat feet come into contact. So we'll, uh, we're gonna be drilling two seven eighths holes so let's try that out and uh, see how it works. I've got that set at half inch to the spur. And so, there you see it, those feet, as soon as those feet come in contact, we'll know that we have the correct depth. I had to modify the two pegs a bit. They, uh, as is typical, my plans don't always work out. I must have got the spacing just a tiny bit off. I, I was worried about, I didn't think I'd be able to work within those tolerances to duplicate that. And so there's always a solution. So the solution was, is I put a taper on the pegs like that. So those will fit nice and snug in there. Now we should be able to put this in here and secure that. So it doesn't have to be um, super, super tight, but it has to be able to be strong and not wobble about. And when we want to take it out, we can do that. We don't need to glue the pegs in because, well, we can use those for future projects. You know, if we want to use them in the holes for stops, we can put something up against it there. If we wanted to clamp, for example, against that bench for odd, you know, odd things that come up, uh, we can do that, clamp both ways. So that will be it's multi-purpose, multi-purpose, these pegs. So let's go make two more for the other side. And then we can get to work on the, on the leather stuff. Thank <laughs> you. 
I've got my gauge set at a quarter inch so we can mark out for the, uh, the recess for the leather. This is the area that we need to recess just ever so slightly. I figure that leathers, you know, between an 18th and a 16th, we have to be very, very careful here. And all uh, the light from the scribe, I'll just highlight it there with my pencil. So we'll wrap this up on part two. Who can guess what we're building? See who's 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 clever in the comments. Um, put your vote uh, in there, as well as which leather should we use of those three beautiful choices. So uh, yesterday we had uh, had a great time. We we took the van up to um, the first heavy snowfall up on the mountains, and the ski resorts are starting to open, and it was just delightful. It's uh, one of the things I really enjoy about having an adventure van. It's it's like having a cabin. Um, anywhere you like and without the property taxes. So we went up uh, way up high, about uh, 6,500 feet or so, and backed up looking down the canyon and all the trees, and it was absolutely beautiful and had a nice dinner with the sweet loaf, and um, she got to have uh, see her first big snowfall. So, yeah, yeah, looking forward to winter. I always enjoy the changes. So um, we'll get this wrapped up on the next video, and we're expecting snow. Expecting snow, I think, maybe in by Thursday or Friday. So we'll see if that manifests. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next video.